Kennel? Good. Now, to work on staying, all we're going to do basically is think about the floor itself as hot lava. The dog bed is safe, the floor is not safe. If he comes off the bed, we're gonna run the collar again till he goes back on. Good boy. Good. Hey guys, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we are back with another Sprig training video. He is just over five months old and we're gonna to start to incorporate the collar conditioning to place work that we've been working on into asking him to stay longer. This is where you can kind of get into that stay and duration of staying on the bed. First, we taught him how to go to the bed. Now we're gonna teach him how to stay there. This is gonna be very beneficial for a lot of different things around the house. I would say that most of us have seen when our dogs get super excited when company comes over, they are pumped and they start jumping and acting crazy. Um, place training is one thing that we can do to help to curb that excitement. You can say, go, lay, stay down, stay there on your bed until that excitement wears off. And then they can be introduced to the company as long as, and the company to them, as long as they maintain a calm personality and temperament. So ultimately what we're looking for here is to start incorporating longer stays on the bed. We're gonna warm him up with a little positive work here. Kennel, good. I've got just a few dog treats today for this session. Again, Kennel, he's got a good understanding of this. Now we're gonna switch over to his e-collar. Vibrate, Kennel, good boy. As Soon as he's on there, the collar shuts off, okay? When I ask, vibrate here, Kennel, good. Okay, I am incorporating these food rewards, Kennel, good. This is just to say, good job, you did it right. And at this stage in the game, it's important to keep this fun for him. I didn't ask that time, so we're not going to reward or discipline for that. He's just excited to work for us. And ultimately, staying there is what we're gonna be working on today. So again, sending him back with vibrate to kennel. Good. Okay. Kennel, good. Now, to work on staying. All we're going to do basically is think about the floor itself as hot lava. The dog bed is safe, the floor is not safe. If he comes off the bed, we're gonna run the collar again till he goes back on. Good boy. We're gonna use our position as a little bit of um, pressure, if you will, just to say, hey, stay put. Also, you wanna put your bed so that it's not in the middle of the room. Collar turns back on here, and then it shuts off when he gets back on. You don't wanna put your bed in the middle of the room so that he has four different, 100, 360 ways to escape up against the wall or in a quarter. Kennel back on here. Up into a corner against the wall is gonna to help to minimize the directions he can go. Now, as he gets better at this, we're gonna to start to give him a little more freedom, which is going to encourage him to come off or make him feel like more comfortable to come off. Uh, uh, uh. I'm throwing in a negative verbal there. All that says is, a, it's a mild correction. It says, hey, that's not right. Uh, uh, uh. Think about what you're doing as he starts to come off. Stays nicely for a second. Good boy. We're going to come in and love him. Good job. Calm, calm hands make a calm dog. So lots of calm praise is important with our puppies. Good boy. Step back, he should stay put. If he comes off, that collar comes back on. Good. Now we're gonna release him and start this process over, okay? We're gonna ask, Sprig, kennel? Good, now he should be staying. Ah, 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 collar's back on as soon as he comes off that bed. Good, a little reward. This um, hand gesture is very common for people to do. It usually works, it kind of keeps the dog's focus. We've got some hopscotching. 
Every time he comes off the bed, the collar turns back on. But this kind of keeps the dog focused up on you, knowing, helping them to understand, yes, you're watching them, and it will become a little bit of a hand signal of stay. Collar is back on here and shuts off as soon as it gets on there. This is not a pressure-based training thing. It doesn't have to be ugly. It's just conditioning. So, uh, uh, uh. As soon as he comes off, that collar turns back on. He's going to learn to avoid the collar altogether by staying put. This isn't going to happen in one session, guys. This is going to be something that you can start to incorporate into your evening, allowing him to work up to uh, 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 where he can actually stay put for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes even, um, and eventually working up to most of the evening, he would be able to stay here, enjoy maybe a dog bone uh, 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 or some other chew toy. But just through conditioning, repetition, as soon as he comes off of that bed, we show him, no, nope, we want you to go back. And eventually we can eliminate the behavior of coming off until he's actually released. Now, talking about that, I did it once already. We want to come all the way to him to release him. So he stayed well there. Okay, we're going to touch him and give him our release cue, which is okay. And the reason for that is it's going to help prevent him from anticipating general conversation that you're going to release him. That you don't go from across the room, come on, spray, let's go. Then he thinks you have to come all the way over to me to, <laughs> freebie, you have to come all the way over to me to know that I'm going to get released from the bed. This is going to be the most consistent way to help condition this. So we'll do one more rep here. Kennel. Good. Now he can stay there. All we're asking for is him to sit and stay. We'll give him ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Give him a little more distance. You saw him start to make that movement and the verbal ah, uh, ah, uh, in combination with me moving back toward him said, oh, I should stay. There was no collar involved with that. Collar only comes into play when he comes completely off the bed. Good job. Good job. Another reward. We're going to have him stay here now. Stay. Now you can use a stay cue. Ultimately, it should be implied, but it works better in our brains to use verbiage. People like to talk. That's how we communicate. So it gets very easy to incorporate that into our dog's training. Just keep it simple. Good. Good job. So as you can see, he's picking up on this very quickly. We'll be able to incorporate this into his evening training sessions of let's do some obedience work and then let's spend some time learning patience by staying on the dog bed. Thanks guys for watching. We will keep you posted and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram so that you don't miss any of his upcoming videos. Thanks. Mm -hmm.